What's your chifty sense? Be interested in this stuff. He does a line in theme cafes, you know, decks them out in different eras. He'll gobble this lot up. Early cinema, art gecko, all that. Why don't they make money? Well, you know what your average tourist is like. They like a bit of atmosphere with their tea and digestives. Well, have you seen the price of some of this gear? Have you seen Bernie's profit margins? One catering size box of tea bags dipped in hot water and dangled in front of a family of four coming out of the Tower of London. And it's Hello Marbella for the winter. Yeah, look at these old tip up seats. They'd be good for him. Very space saving. Well, well spotted. Make a note of the numbers. Right. Oh, my good God. What is that? That's a waxwork. Oh, gave me quite a turn. What's that made of? Oh, yeah. Commissioned in 1983 to celebrate Britain's achievements at the American Academy Awards. Yeah, this is Chuck Warren Aston as Gordon a cartoon. Oh, I saw that film. That's nothing like Chuck. Well, there's a load more in the basement. Figures from Chariots of Fire, Blue Away. Well, make a note of their numbers. What on earth for? The franc fell a further two points against the mark before rallying half a point against the dollar by close of trading. Though traders expect the franc to remain... Here, Arthur, Marilyn's foot just fell off. Shush. City sources warned that further instabilities could only spell long-term gloom for European Union. I don't like it, Ray. What? I'm worried about the exchange rate mechanism. Oh, yeah. See... Our French cousins always underestimate the perfidy of the Bundesbank. As soon as the market goes bullish, they stick their berries in the sand. It's the same with the Maginot line. Hey, where do you want me to stick Elvis? That's never Elvis. That's what it says on the ticket. I thought it was Engelbert. I'll bung him over there with the bird baths. Right, yeah. It's very worrying. You see, the old fabric is in danger of unravelling. I'm seriously beginning to wonder whether my thrust into Europe was a bit precipitous. It's your thrust into waxworks that worries me. Have no fear, Ray. When Bernie sees this lot, he'll go bomb. Now, be reasonable, Bernie. These are handcrafted waxworks. They're practically antiques. It can't be done. Your punters would lap it up. Tea with the stars, you could call it. Arthur, listen to me. Watch my lips moving. I am broke. I've gone belly up. I'm packing up my gear because the bank has foreclosed. I'm finished. Kaput. Finito. Yeah, but I've forked out. Well, I'm sorry, but the cupboard is bare. Do you mean you're destitute? Nicely put, Arthur. Oh, bad luck. I'm sorry about that, Shifty. They practically begged me to take that loan. Very generous, it seemed. Till the bottom fell out of catering. You have the ERM to thank for that. Is that a fact? Yeah, the market is in turmoil. It's all these financial speculators. They're running around the stock exchange with carrier bags full of foreign currencies. Somebody shouts the pesetas up, and before you know where you are, that is 500 quid on the price of an Uno. Oh, what can you do? Why would that affect me? It is always the little man who pays, isn't it? You are a victim of Europe's fiscal failure. Well, I'll write to my MP now, if you'll excuse me. I wish I could do something to help, Shifty. <laughs> now you mention it... Yeah, hold on, hold on. No, things are bad all round. No, 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 I'm not looking for a bung, no. You could do yourself a bit of good. How's that? Take a look around you. What do you see? Businessmen from the four corners of the globe, all on expenses with money to burn. I've shelled out my stand for a week. Now, if some far-sighted entrepreneur was to make me an offer on the unexpired lease, he could clean up. How much? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's concentrate, kids. We're going again. And remember, when they ask you, who put the do in do why? Do as coffee every time. Wap, 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 doo -doo Are we keeping you girls up? Hmm? The wap waps are pathetic. Okay, lunch. Ten minutes. I've been in the business 14 years. That man hasn't a clue. Hi, Ray. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Hi, Ray. Taking us to lunch too? <sighs> Excuse my friends. They don't get out much. No, that's all right. Hello, girls. Hi. Down, Patch. You're having lunch with me. Solo. <laughs> Come on. Please wear your pass at all times and remember to make yourself known to security. Yes, miss. 
Nice little setup you've got here. Your boss works you very hard, does he? Follow me. Certainly, miss. Poor old Shifty. Most unfortunate. The luck of the draw, really. Or the overdraw, in his case. Oh, no, just a minute. Uh, there seems to be a misunderstanding. Uh, this is the one I was supposed to inherit. You've been recited. This way, please. Hold on a minute. I took over in all good faith from Mr. Sands and the understanding that I will get his prime site. The contract's quite clear. The management reserved the right to relocate. We regret any inconvenience. Your director's a bit of a dictator, ain't he? He wouldn't recognise good singing if it bit him. He's got about as much sense of rhythm as a washing machine with no brick. Yeah, it's tough at the top. Don't take the mick. I do this to pay the bills. Yeah, and I bet your mum loves it when she hears you on the radio. You should come and hear me at the club, with a full band behind me. Yeah, do what, do what there, do you? Smart, Alec. It's proper music. Jazz. Well, like Kenny Ball. Not trad. Soulful stuff. Like who? Well, not like anybody. Like me. You should come here for yourself. I'll get you some free tickets. Judging by this lunch, you're in need of a freebie. You what? OK, boys and girls, back on your heads. Let's give the donkey another flop. So, do you want to come? Yeah, all right. I'll, uh, I'll give you a bell. is too tough for the Ute village. Parsnips, potatoes, cabbages, and courgette. And what's more, are you fed up peeling, madam, for the large Sunday dinner? With the Ute village peeling adapter, you can peel and trim these carrots without any waste whatsoever. You see? Excellently done. Right now, Suitably refreshed, your clients are then met by a smart chauffeur in a gold Mercedes. Evening, gents. Uh, Mr. Uh, Slater is waiting for you at the Savoy Hotel and hopes you will enjoy your meal. They are then driven along the optimum route and arrive relaxed, refreshed, cheerful, and in the ideal mood for signing the contract which you have nestling in your briefcase. On the other hand, Mr... Corman? Mr. Corman, who did not use our service, his clients are tired, hungry, and have been waiting for a taxi at Charing Cross Railway Station in the pouring rain for the last half hour. Contract, they say. You know where you can put your contract. In future, we will be doing business with our nice Mr. Slater. But seriously, we all know how important it is to make a good first impression. And we at Chester Holbein tailor the evenings to suit your needs. We have relationships with all the major sporting organizations and preferred arrangements with the best restaurants, theaters, night spots, and casinos in the West End. Excuse me? In fact, our casino evening is probably one of our most popular. Excuse me? Yes, how may I help you? Um, Arthur Daly, Daly Car Leasing, Stand 312. I've been listening to your patter, very cogent. Now, look, let's say I've got my party of four. They've got outside the prawn cocktail, steak and two veg, pudding of choice. They've taken in the floor show. I've lashed them with complimentary bubbly. We're down at the casino. What's the damage? Well, we have a sliding scale for various events. No, no, cut the flannel. Car, nose bag, casino. How much? Well, for what you're talking about, I would say you're looking at our medium band evening. Come on, we're busy men. What's the figure? Well, off the top of my head, I would say 700 should cover yeah. it. 
And uh, how do you invoice? Each service is separately receipted. Oi! You, out of this space now. You saw exactly what I was trying to do. This space is for the lady. Now shift it. Oi. Here, do you know how many stands there are in this place? I've been looking all over for you. Look down there. Where? Geezer in the blazer, one who looks like a little sumo wrestler. Okay, what about him? Do, do you know what corporate entertainment is? That's uh, freebies at sporting events, as ain't it? As far as I can gather, you get a load of punters together, feed them, water them, and then ship them out to the West End. That's his racket. So? What do you reckon he charges for that little service? Hit me. 700 smackers, minimum. Yeah, hey, what's this? The Ute Veg. Oh, yeah, what's it for? No, it's for shredding. Never mind about that. Don't worry about the Ute Veg. We are standing not 20 yards away from a geezer who takes punters for 20 quid meals at seven ton a throw. You imagine five bookings a week? Do you know what that comes to? Uh, 3,500. It was a rhetorical question. Where are we going now? You're going to look after the stand. I've got to go out. What have you got for me tonight, Reggie boy? A group from Argentina, Beef Import, Dynasty, Phantom of the Opera, and then Supper of the Savoy. They have all the major credit cards. RG's. Make sure they see the Baccarat table. RG's love Baccarat. I also have a serious bite from a Malawi trade bunch. Emergent nations? Dice? Love it. No, Arthur. Why not? I saw this coming. I was waiting for it. The answer is no. Dave. Allow me one second to explain the nub of my proposal. Thank you. Now, your average punter comes in here, buys a drink, sits down at a table. What has he got to distract him? A fruit machine. He's left his newspaper at the office, he's read all the beer mats, and then suddenly he sees a sign. Winchester Waxworks. This way. Hello, he says. That looks interesting. I think I'll have a butcher's at that. No way. Why not? Because I do not like him. That is a Duke of Wellington you're slagging. Look at him. No. Look, look, look at that fine military bearing. It's spooky. I do believe you've got the wind up. I am thinking of our customers. If it distresses you. I am not windy. I am just not having it, that's all. It's all right, Dave, it's all right. We all have our dark corners. B, hey, hey, where are you going? Back to the exhibition. You can't leave him there. Ray will pick him up later. Whereas Mr. Evans' clients are getting wet and cold trying to flag down a minicab outside Euston Station. So who gets the contract? But joking apart, gents, we all know how important it is to make a good impression. With WEC, that is guaranteed. And what is more, we tailor the occasion to suit your needs. I remember my father saying to me, son, never put your hand in a lighted fire. I want a word with you. Oh, Mr. Hargreaves. Now. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. One of my oldest clients. Do help yourself to the dry roasted, and Raymond will recharge your glasses. Look, could you leave it for a minute? I think I've got a nibble. What the hell do you think you're playing at? You were in car leasing yesterday. I have a wide portfolio of companies. You're trying to steal my business. You're even using my patter. Oh, I think you'll find the English language is available for general use. Nobody puts it over on me. Look, you're blocking my access. Now, will you move along, or shall I go and call security? I think you should worry about your own security, Mr. Daly. Do you want me to call security? All right, go on. I will. Morning, princess. How's the zoo? The zoo's becoming very interesting. There's a funny little man who's decided to tread on Hargreaves' toes. Look. Oh, go and sort him out. No, wait. I want to see who comes out on top. I have to wear this stupid hat. Well, try tucking your hair in underneath. No, I feel like a prat. Yeah, but a smart one. No, no, honestly, you look fine. Hello, Palace Theatre. I'd like four seats for tonight's performance, please. Not too near the band. Right, let's go through what you're going to do. What oh. do you mean, sold out? If I meet you as a customer, how are you going to be? Yeah, but you must keep a few seats on one side. Like, all right. 
No, I don't know. What, right, what happens so, yeah, if a minor royal turns no, up? No, just give it a nod. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah, so right. how much is a box? No, don't say anything, just a nod. Oh, Get right. your cap straight. How much? That's it. Oh, no wonder music all died sound. out. Just... Goodbye. Oi, but do I have to wear this tie? Yes, you do. You're a chauffeur, not a van driver. Yeah, but I don't suit a tie. You don't suit a suit. Here, take it off and tie it again. Get him sorted out, Ray, and don't be late. What are you doing here? I can't find the rear window eater, Ray. I'm all messed up out there. Well, it's underneath the fox. Now, just go back and stay with the car. No, I just want to look professional. I'm not used to Jake's. I'm Robinson from Jessman and Clark. Ray Daly, Wilson Entertainment. So I hope you had a pleasant journey, gentlemen. There was no buffet on the train. Oh, dear. Sorry about that. I, uh... Well, I'm sure you're going to have a lovely pre-show dinner before the theatre. So, uh, if you'd like to follow me, the uh, car's this way. Apart from the buffet, we'll see what we can Done. What do you want, Gav? Stalls, dress circle or gallery? How much are stalls? 30 quid. How much is gallery? 15. Do me for gallery. Dress. Uh, good evening. Are you looking for tickets? Are you looking for the balcony? Come. Do me four stalls. What did you say stalls cost? 30. Gallery? 15. So I bought four gallery from you at 15. So if I give you another four 15s, which is 60, that's the difference between stalls and gallery. We're straight, right? Hold on. Uh, 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 you're right, you're right. I also had some dress. Let's make an even 50, shall we? Wait a minute. Oh, come on. I don't want to miss the overture. There's something funny going on here. Bandits at 6 o'clock. Old Bill at casual. You got a ticket? Of course. Stalls. This way, gentlemen. I hope you enjoy the show. Well, I think it's gonna rain. Where's the wipers? Thanks. Gentlemen, how'd it go? Well, I don't think they enjoyed it. Well, they chose the show. Tell them to take it up with Anthony Lloyd Webber. Yeah, but they weren't very happy with their seats. One of them's done his neck in. <laughs> this way, gentlemen. Glad to hear you enjoyed the show. Get my hat and coat, will you? Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Party of five. Member's name, please. Member? We was bound to come off the wagon from time to time. How was I to know it was members only? It wasn't in my day. It's called planning, Arthur. Here, did you get him back to the hotel, all right? Yeah, there's a bit of a delay. The manager couldn't find the funeral march. Play him up to their rooms. Well, outrageous behaviour. There you go. Sign that. Demanding a refund. Well, you didn't give it to him, did you? I certainly did not. I mean, as it was, I didn't make a penny. What with them quibbling over every item? Say nothing of the cab charges. Yeah, well, it's all over now. Yeah, but it's hardly a British spirit, is it? They wouldn't have lasted five minutes in the Blitz. I'm sorry, the seats in this Anderson shelter are not up to scratch. You got anything near the ACAC? What was that they called me? Cheapskate. No, 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 the other word. What, con man? No, it was a longer one. Charlatan. That's the one. There's a very ungenerous spirit prevalent among the young British entrepreneurs. It's a European malaise. It's infectious. Malcontented moaners to a man. Ah, uh, Jack Cornwall. You didn't moan when you stood on the burning deck, did you, son? You didn't get Nelson whinging at Waterloo. Florrie Nightingale. Not a peep out of her on the leopard colony in Scutari. These are the kind of British who made Britain great. Yeah, what's Charles Autry doing here? That's a lot. I still don't see how these are going to help, Arthur. Well, it's not the waxworks as themselves, Ray. It's what they represent. It came to me in a flash. With a little rejigging, 
They could stand for everything England has to offer in corporate entertainment. Well, give me a for instance. Lord Nelson, he's your heritage. Dick Whittington, pageantry, Lord Mayor Show, all that. Yeah, what about Marilyn, then? That's Daniel LaRue. What, representing dressing up as a woman? Cabaret. All right, all right, so you've got your heritage. Uh, your pageantry, your cabaret. What's Gordon a cartoon represent? Sport. Sport? Yeah. Pull the spear out, stick it in his hand, whack a dicky bow on him. Dead ringer for Cliff Thorburn, snooker, at which we are world champions. Yeah, Cliff Thorburn's Canadian. So you reckon your freak show landed you the contract, eh? My tapestry of England brought them flocking, Dave. What I say I wanted? Global trade. What have I got? Four foreign fellas with wallets you could stop a door with. <laughs> Let's hope it goes better than the other night, eh? Marion. Ticket for tonight, as promised. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Oh, well, I was in the neighbourhood and uh, I thought I'd buy you lunch. Sorry, I've uh, got to get back to work. Yeah. Hey, hey, what? Uh, stay with no, a drink? No, honestly, uh, it, come... no, it doesn't matter, honestly. I just had to pop in a ticket anyway. Uh, well, look, I'll, I'll try and see if I can make it. If I, Excuse you know. me, my dear. Did I hear you mention tickets? You couldn't lay your hands on half a dozen spares, could you? I'm very keen on uh, your kind of music. Do what you mean. Mm. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, leave them at the front. Thank you. See you later. See ya. What a nice girl. Very nice. Good pianist. Like Russ Conway in his A day. Play my cards right, we could be rolling in drachmas come the end of the week. Excuse me. Your friend is very good. No, uh, no fog in her voice. She's very big on the radio, you know. Really? You like jazz? Yeah, I could get anywhere. It's an attractive mentor. that woman? Vanessa Wilkes Graham. She introduces Miss Hussein. I told you about her. She's the organiser. Name like that, I was expecting twin set and jobbers. Okay. Yeah, get us a beer, please, mate. It's terrible parking round here, isn't it? Um, I, uh, hear you're by way of being my benefactor. I'm Ray Daly, Wilson Entertainment. Apparently, we have you to thank for our new clients. Well, uh, I just thought I'd come over and say thanks. So, thanks. It's 2.50. Right. Yeah, I think you're over-icing your cocktails, mate. Yeah. yeah. This lady's below freezing point. I don't need men to fight my battles for me. I fight my own. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Look, I, I just came over to say... Thanks for the favour. I don't do favours. So how come we got the new clients? Let's just say I wanted to see how you'd measure up. Well, in that case, I'll do my best. Your girlfriend has a good voice. She's not my girlfriend. She's a friend who happens to be a girl. How very modern of you. Mr. Hussein will want to gamble later. 
this is the casino to bring him to. You'll be expected. And will you be there? Your friend, who happens to be a girl, is looking for you. Thanks. Thanks very much. Fantastic. Whew, I need a drink. A uh, gin tea, please. A large one. Hi, I'm Marion. Oh, um, sorry. Marion, this is Vanessa. Vanessa Marion. Mention my name at the door. So nice to have met you, Marion. Good night. Is there something wrong with my perfume? Uh, no, we was just talking business. Uh, come on, let's uh, join the others, eh? Gentlemen, Marion Prince. Enchanting, my dear. Is that a a beautiful song yes. from a beautiful singer. Thank you very much. Please sit down. Some of this champagne, please. Yeah, Marion, you know me and Arthur are going to have to shoe off later. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm getting used to you being busy. Well, it's business. You're Arthur. You're here. Starting. Casino. Good evening, miss. My name's Arthur Daly, Wilsden Entertainment. Hello, Mr. Daly. If you'd like to take your party through, there's champagne at the bar. Oh, is there? Compliments to the management. This way, gentlemen. Just through there. You? Thank you. This is more like it. Is that for Daly? Yes, sir. Glass of champagne, gentlemen. Look at us. Compliments, Wilson Entertainment. Yes. I hope you've enjoyed the evening thus far. Splendid, Mr. Daly. Quite splendid. And we've certainly enjoyed playing host to you. So here's mud in your eye and eyes down for a lucky evening. Zatik. Zatik. Absolutely. Now it's time to break the bank at Monte Carlo. Yes? What? Good, good, good. No, no, no. Good. What's all that about a piece of addock? 16, right? I cover the groups of fours and sixes with doubles and half stakes on alternating lines. Then, odds and evens, a strict pattern. Place your bets. If I can retain the fall of the ball, then I should be able to alternate red and black with enough accuracy to cover my bets. Oh, I see. Very ingenious. Of course, a lucky shot on a single number is the only way to make big money. That's why I always put a high-risk chip on one number. No more bets. My daughter's age. Oh, this is fascinating, right? Right? Hang on, eight. Eight, you win. Win or eight, the hard way. This is a lonely game. It's solitary. There's a difference. Well, you look like you're winning. I like winning. That's why I play. Would you like to throw for me? Well, I don't know the rules. You don't need to know the rules to win. Two craps, line in. But it helps. No, oh, you won a game of suicide. Well done. This time, you must choose the single number. Anyone between 1 and 36? Erin Dawes' age, 21. 21 it is. <laughs> Do you mind? This square's taken. What are you talking about? Mr. Daly, any number of people can bet on the same place. Perhaps this man will bring us luck. Nah, uh, I've changed my mind. 19. No more bets. Nineteen bets. <laughs> 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 Now we are in danger of losing Lady Luck's affection. The biggest secret of all is to quit while you're ahead. Hey, uh, would you spare me a moment? What do you want? A quiet word. All right. Uh, Mr. Daly, 
This is for you. Oh, oh please, please take it. It is your good luck. We've been riding on tonight. Oh, well, if you insist, thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Thank you. I think you should find your nephew. He's not feeling very well. Next time, it could be you. Thank you. Yeah, he's in the motor. Having a quiet drink. One of the hostesses come in and said we had some trouble with our driver. Something about double parking. I thought Wasp could use hands, so I'll go outside. Next thing I know, kissing the pavement here to being used as a football. Dave. Hold that here. Yeah, there were three of them. It was all over before I could get out of the car. It was Argreaves. He said it'll be me next time. Argreaves? You should do him, Ray. All right. Now don't get excited, Ray. You have a good night's sleep. You can do him in the morning. Surprise, surprise. He's done a bunk. Don't you ever know? There are no secrets between us, Princess. Did you enjoy yourself last night? Did you? By the end. I hear Daly got lucky. The old one, I mean. He had a couple of lucky numbers. <sighs> Daly Jr. did less well. No doubt the odds were against him. They still are. And bad luck, as we know, can be catching. Right, I w uh, Sorry to bother you, but uh, I've got a problem. That's all right, son. I'll leave you to sort him out. Look, sorry to cut out on you the other night, but somebody decided to give me a facelift. So I see. Who was it? Hargreaves. Now, where can I find him? I've really no idea. Yeah, but he works for you, doesn't he? You must have a number for him. I do, and it's confidential. If you want to batter Mr Hargreaves, you'll have to find him yourself. There is something you can do for me, though. Try me. You can invite me to dinner. Windsor Castle. Dripping with history, that is. Indeed. Oh, yeah, it's all gone on here, you know. Magna Carta, Anne Boleyn, Walter Raleigh. An English stream linking us with the past. That is what foreigners, you know, begging your pardon, find it hard to comprehend. We English are surrounded by bricks and mortar that remind us of our long and illustrious history. We have some quite elderly buildings in my part of the world too, Mr. Daly. But are they open to the public, even on bank holidays? Queen Victoria, uh, then an Edward, uh, then a George, uh, then a... Another couple of King Edwards. Oh, culminating in our present monarch. Queen Elizabeth II of that good name. God bless her. The House of Windsor stretches back for centuries, deep into the mists of time. Only till 1917, actually. I beg your pardon? Yes. Up till then, the royal house had been known as saxe coburg gotha The incumbent King George V felt it uh, inappropriate for the British throne to bear a Teutonic name whilst... Hostilities between yourselves and Germany existed in the trenches of France. So, he changed it. <laughs> How's it going? He tried to tell me George V was incumbent. I think the man's a communist. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No, I think I can honestly say that I've never met anyone quite like you. Is that so? Yeah. You invite me to invite you to dinner and then treat me like... What do I treat you like? Like I was second class or something. How should I treat you? Well, you know, a bit of conversation might help. Oh, that. I talk about me, you talk about you sort of thing. I tell you something about my life. We have a drink, have a coffee, go to bed together. Is that the plan? I'll get the bill. I was born in Surrey. I went to Rodine, left Southampton University after two.
two turns. My favorite color is indigo, and I won't make breakfast. No, I tried the flat, he's not there. And what is more, he's gallivanting around in my motor. Well, if you see him, tell him I'm miffed. I mean, in the normal course of events, I would grant him a bit of leeway, but... What do you mean, not interested? Where you been? No, never mind, I don't want to know. That way I can look your mother in the eye. Hey, what's the panic? We've had a nibble on the waxworks. Geezer phone this morning. I guarantee delivery tomorrow. Yeah, what geezer? Never look a gift horse in the mouth. He made a very good offer. Now, he's promised to send the money over to Winchester tonight. I want you to pick it up. Oh, well, Meanwhile, I'll... get back to the lock-up and pack up the rest of the waxworks. Yeah, Arthur, I've I'll just... man the fort here. Go on, off you go. Arthur! Go on. Hello, beautiful. You're late. I had some work to catch up on. I'll get you a coffee. That'd be nice. How about spending a nice relaxing evening at my place tonight? I can't. I'm working late. For God, so am I. I'll get that coffee. I didn't know you hung around with famous people. <laughs> you made me jump. We uh, didn't get much time together at the club the other night. Maybe I could return that lunch now. No, I've got to get to the Winchester. Oh, great. I'll buy you a drink there. Well, I'm meeting a guy. It's, um, it's business. After business? Dinner, maybe. I think I might be having dinner with somebody else. <laughs> I'm biting on granite here, aren't I? And what does that mean? Look, just answer me a question. Have you got a girlfriend? Look, I'm not sure. Fine, I give in. Now, listen, Marion, I, I like you. You're a really good mate. I'm flattered. But I am sort of involved. With that rude bitch from the jazz club? Who you brought to see me singing on my free tickets? Vanessa. Forget it. I'll see you around. There you go. Cheers, Dave. Give us a scotch, Dave. You're not a spirit drinker. Yeah, well, I am tonight. Ugh. There's a man from the Waxworks looking for you. He's over in the corner. He's not here already, is he? I was hoping for a bit of a break. Right. You. I've been looking for you. And now you've found me. See that? That was done by a boot, and I heard it was taking its orders from you. Let me give you some good advice. Yeah, all right, but let's do it outside, eh? I don't want to damage the furniture. Now, you shift. You're having a problem, Ray? No, it's all right, Dave. This is Mr Argreaves. He hasn't got the bottle to do his own dirty work. He has to get others to do it for him. Grow up. It wasn't me that spoiled your pretty face. In fact, I had nothing to do with it, as your girlfriend can confirm. Who? No. Vanessa. She's waiting for you at the conference centre to tell you all about it. You're a long way from Wilsdon, boy. Huh? Yeah, what a bloke called Argreaves. Argreaves? Oh, my God. Here, Arthur. Arthur. Same again. Yeah, yeah, all right. I've only got one pair of hands.
Vanessa? Close, but you don't win the coconut. What's going on here? Tell me, son. I'm scared from one to ten. How lucky do you think you are? Look, what is all this in aid of? Come on, straight question. How lucky do you think you are? I'll get by. Me, I'm a ten. Very few of us about. You, four, five, maybe higher. Time will tell. Look, pal, what's your game? It's my business. I make educated guesses as to how people are going to do when they come into my casino. I don't reckon you're going to do very well. Choose a hand. Blackjack's not my game. That says I can beat your hand. Oh, yeah. What's my stake? You come to that. Pick a hand. Eighteen. Pretty good. Blackjack. That's how lucky I am. So I'm unlucky at cards. Maybe you're lucky in love. Tell me on a scale from one Look, to... that's enough. I've had enough of your stupid games. You got me, pal. That's where you're wrong. You're involved in one of the heaviest games of your life. She's another ten. You can tell that, can't you? Maybe you've discussed this together. Hello, Kenny. What are you doing here? Sorry to play the gooseberry. I can see you were expecting a cosy twosome with lover boy Don't over here. even begin to think you have the right to... Her operate. problem is she raises the stakes too high. She can't quit when she's ahead, even after expert advice. What do you think about that, son? I think she's old enough to make her own decisions. Oh, new man, eh? Me, I'm Dark Ages, Neanderthal. You stole from me, and you pay. Kenny, this doesn't impress. Come on! <laughs> Leave it out, Kenny. I've got nothing to fight you for. Ray! Arthur! What's occurring? Ah, here's something to play for. I take you a part of him. I don't mind which. <laughs> Leave him out of it. I like it. Just you and me. Yeah. Ray! Have I explained the handicap, sister? Why handicap? Ooh. 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 My advantage. Ray. That's enough. The boy hasn't much fight in him, has he? Me, I can go on all day. Look, whatever we've done, we'll pay for it. Just name the price. Money? You're offering me money? I've got money. I've got all the money I'll ever need. What well, that still doesn't impress some people, does it? For God's sake, stop him. There is no stopping him when it gets like this. Oh, yes, there is. Just ask me to stop. Ask me nicely. Go to hell. Well, for God's sake. Go. Looks like I'm going to have to do it the hard way. <laughs> Bravo. You're a winner. Right. I know. I'll be OK. I'll never understand boys' games. Well, these rules are more simple than yours. You're a very disturbed young woman. Come on, Ray. I don't like to say this, Ray, but I could have told you right from the start. Not now, eh, Arthur? Well, maybe you're right. Taxi! Taxi! Come on. You'll be sore in the morning. Arthur, I'm in agony now. Come on. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You caught me at a bad time. 
it really doesn't matter. It does. That's what I'm sorry for. I, I hurt someone who used to be my friend. Who still is your friend. Thanks, Mary. Uh, uh, you do it again and I'll kick you, Aiden. What are you doing here? Mr. Hussain leaves tomorrow, inviting me for a farewell soiree. Yes. To wish him luck with his future guests. If he treats them as well as he's treated us, I'm sure his business will prosper. Oh, no, no. The moment I've seen you off at the airport, I'm going to wind up Wilson Entertainment. Why? I have a very simple view of life, Mr. Hussain. I like to get up in the morning, earn a few bob, and while the sun is going down, enjoy my profits in a club of my own with a cooling VAT and a few well-chosen friends. <laughs> Wise philosophy. Life's too short. And going by some of the types we met up the West End last week, it could have been a lot shorter. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marion Prince, and tonight I'm going to sing a song for my friend. So you met someone who set you back on your heels. Goody, goody. So you met someone, and now you know how it feels. Goody, goody. So you gave her your heart to just as I gave mine to you And she broke it in little pieces Now how do you do? So you lie awake just singing the blues all night Goody, goody So you think that love's a barrel of dynamite You had it coming to ya And you don't like it, do ya? A goody, goody for him A goody, goody for me Now I hope you're satisfied you rest. <laughs> ah.